I wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land I'm on, the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation, and the elders past and present. I acknowledge their continuing culture and the contribution they make to this city. I'd also like to acknowledge the Energy Market Authority and all the guests attending the conference. The West Australian Government is working with all sectors of our state to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. WA's main electricity grid is an interesting case study of a conventional grid transforming into a modern energy system. The Southwest Interconnected System is an isolated grid and isn't connected to the rest of Australia. It covers an enormous area, but almost all the customers are based here in Perth. One in three houses in WA currently have rooftop solar. By 2030, that number will increase to one in two. The rise in new energy technologies are creating challenges for managing our grid stability and security. For example, low load days, where customer demand drops so low there's insufficient dispatchable energy to cope with shocks. This is why the McGowan government created the Energy Transformation Strategy. The strategy is laying the groundwork for secure, reliable and affordable electricity into the future. The energy transformation is also accelerating in WA's mining and energy provinces. Many leading mining companies have made ambitious climate change commitments. The McGowan government has a range of policies to support the rapid energy transformation. WA is also the only Australian state to have a clear strategy supporting the development of a world-leading future battery industry. Our state has vast areas of land with world-class wind, solar, wave, geothermal and tidal energy resources. We have a skilled workforce and capability built by our world-scale mining and LNG industries. We've controlled COVID-19 in Western Australia. Our economy is strong and we're leaders in the clean energy transformation. You won't find a better place to invest in the zero emissions energy future than in Western Australia.